Hello people of the internet, I am JCMX101. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of Pokemon Rank Life for the Nintendo Switch on Pokemon Sword. Okay, that came out all wrong, but you guys know what I mean. We're back, and this is going to be episode number 11, and the second battle, or the second set of three battles that we'll be doing with the team that I showed you guys last time. But don't worry, I'm about to show you guys the magic in this team. I think that it just feels really good to play this team. It's a, it's a pretty solid team. Unfortunately, a one third of the team I can't bring most of the time because of just how the meta is. But here's the team. Boom. We bring him back the trusty Pelipper with Focus Ash and Drizzle. It sets up Tailwind and it fires up Hurricanes to Whimsicott and it one shots them. Perfect. Uh, and a component. Uh, he also has Ice Beam just in case he lives long enough to fire off attacking moves. But honestly, Pelipper, awesome mon. Then we got the reason why we even have Pelipper on the team. We got the solid Drenma, Drenna, or Hewlett, if you guys would know, but not not the uh, original Hewlett, but a better trained hardcore Hewlett who has a G Max form. Yes, this is a G Max uh, Drenma, which is honestly, I think regular Drenma would probably be better. But either way, with that. He, he has the Swift Swim ability, which doubles its speed in the rain. It's max speed, jolly nature, so it's like super, super fast. In the rain, at least. And it has Choice Band, so it has Rock, uh, Head Smash, Liquidation, High Horsepower, and Crunch. So, I've been catching my opponent using Gastrodons, so I can't even fire off the G-Stone... G-Stone something move the one that sets up stealth rocks on my opponent's side I, ha I haven't been able to fire it off properly because of gastrodon then this is a dual weather team as you guys have been playing attention right now we have a torkoal my boy smokey coming back uh, he's just really good he has eruption heat wave so uh, earth power solar beam with choice spec so he's really re he hits really really hard and to hit really really hard he's accompanied by the vile plume Bioplume has chlorophyll with white lens, has pollen puff, strength sap, sleep powder, and after you. K signature moves here are, or interesting moves all around. Uh, pollen puff, it, it's pretty much kind of like a bug bus, but it does 90 damage, it's a special move. But if you use it on your ally, it's, it's like a heal, heal pulse. You, you heal your allies, but it does damage to the opponent. So it's a really good move. Uh, obviously, it's not stab, and it doesn't have any grass type moves or anything like that. But it, it's fine. Strength up heals Vile Plume and reduces my opponent's attack, so pretty good move. Sleep Powder puts Pokemon to sleep. If you can predict properly, put a G Max Mon or a D Max Mon in uh, sleep. Pretty much, they waste their turns. After you makes it so that whatever Pokemon I decide to to click on it. It will use its move after Vile Plume. So you can see the synergy with Torkoal. You go Torkoal, sits up the sun, Vile Plume gets double speed from Chlorophyll. You use after you on the Torkoal and you fire off a full powered eruption in the sun before my opponent gets to move. Uh, that's been the plan, but my opponents keep bringing Whimsicott. And how do you counter Whimsicott? With my boy Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl. You fake out the Whimsicott, Whimsicott doesn't do a move, and then the other Pokemon next to Grimmsnarl takes out the Whimsicott. Which, if you've seen the last set of videos three times in a row, it was Pelipper. Pelipper just hurricanes the Whimsicott into oblivion. So, but, and then after, you know, faking out whatever he needs to fake out, the Grimmsnarl then goes for Light Screen, Reflect, depending on my opponent's team, if they're more physical or special. And if he survives long enough after three turns, we go for Spirit Breaks. Which, the Spirit Breaks never happen, but the Fake Out pretty much 100% of the time happens. And then Light Screen or Reflect have happened all the time so far. Because he's decently tanky enough to be able to fire them off. Either way, enough with Grimstarl. The last mod on the, on the roster is the girl, Drolodon, with Steel Ward, Life Orb. Steel Ward is its hidden ability. It makes it so that you can not get a, you don't get affected by Follow Me, Rage Powder, uh, Storm Drain, all that stuff that like would re redirect your moves. 
it, it doesn't get affected by that. So it's a good mon if you wanna like if they have a Togekiss and like let's say a Dracovish and they're like, oh I'm just gonna follow me, then you can just fucking Draco me or the Dracovish into the next dimension. Uh, but yeah, there's the team ID at the end of the video. I'll remind you guys like always But yeah, we are sitting in tier 9, baby Solidly in tier 9, which is honestly amazing for me uh, We're so close so so close to clutching and going up to tier 10 And honestly, I'm <laughs> I didn't think I would be up here so for so long after like the teams that I've been bringing, but we've been doing pretty well. We're 21 and 16. Honestly, as long as you have a higher than 50% win rate and you battle enough, you should be able to reach Master Bolt here. So pretty much if you win two, lose one, you will reach Master Bolt here before the season's over. But eh, just if you keep using the same team over and over, we don't do that. We, we I mean, we mix mons that are that I like, for example. I think Grimmsnarl might be my favorite Pokemon of Gen 8. He's so cool. I just love the Prankster ability and the fact that it's a Prankster Pokemon that can actually hit hard. <coughs> oh, finally, a team that doesn't have the Whimsicott. Okay. But they do have like Gyarados and other mods. Okay, we're gonna give it a try. We're going to give it a try. So we're gonna bring this. Uh, let's see what else. And I think Pelipper Drenma in the back. Double, double, yep, let's go. Let's do this. We're going to bring the double weather. And it's gonna be great. My opponent won't see it coming. He won't, he, he does not think. A madman like myself would be able to control two weathers at the same time. Technically three, because we can switch the weather into sand, which we've done a couple times now with the Drenma. Once I, once it's set that Drenma is the fastest thing on the board, I don't mind getting rid of the, getting rid of the rain, setting up the sand, getting the special defense boost. It, it, it's just good times, good times. So this is my first time, I guess, on the rank using this strategy of after you. So he brings out the Chandelure. Okay, Chandelure is a problem because I can't fire off Eruption. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna go for Sleep Powder on the Togekiss. And then just swap. Ah, oh, this is so risky! This is all risky, but we get rid of Torkoal. We're gonna fire off a Sleep Powder. We connect. Okay, Togekiss goes Night Night, so no Togekiss attack. Then Heat Wave, Drenma avoids, which is huge. And then goodbye to Vileplume. But Vileplume did set. The, uh, the, uh, what's it called? The Togekiss to sleep, so that's huge for us. So then I'm going to, so I brought back the, the, the Torkoal so that my opponent thinks that I'm going to be, you know, going going for, you know, some type of move onto the Chandelure. I, I, well, I am going for Chandelure, but it's not like probably the move that he thinks I'm going for. And with the Togekiss asleep, we do not need to worry about follow me's. My opponent could use the turn, I guess, to try and wake up. Uh, we retreat first, we know that he's not switching out. He might be G-maxing. We set up the Drizzle. So if he did have Solar Beam, he's like, he won't be able to use it. Okay, we're Dynamaxing first. Uh, we have still no information because I'm the fastest boy on the field now. Even a Choice Scarf uh, Chandelure wouldn't outspeed the Drenma. I if I, if I do math correctly. 
Yeah. Boom! <gasps> Destroyed. Oh my god, it lived. Goes for Shadow Ball. Okay. Well, we survived that. So then now, um, hmm, tricky, tricky. Cause I can go for Tailwind to guarantee that we're gonna have some speed on our side, but I think just doing damage to the. Okay, okay, so, hear me out. We're gonna go for Tailwind, and I'm gonna go for Max Rockfall into the Togekiss. Togekiss is asleep. That's good. We go for Max Rockfall. To destroy the Togekiss, and the Sand's gonna take out the Chandelure, and if Pelipper is faster than Chandelure, we should be able to fire off a Tailwind. Yeah, let's go. Energy ball? Oh no, he goes for Trick Room. Oh no. Oh, my opponent got me. Oh, this is, this is, this is no bueno. It's no bueno at all. Wait. Nani? Well, Conkelder is, uh, yeah, Conkelder. Oh, he's Mold Breaker, okay. Okay, I got, I got you. Well. Hmm. Well, I think my opponent got this one. The, the trick room. Oh, the trick room, man. If I actually targeted down the uh, the chandelier, then we would have been in a great, great, great position. But unfortunately for me, I didn't because I was like, oh, the sand is going to take it out as a free... Have to waste a move on it. it. It's all good and dandy, and then my opponent surprises me with a trick room. Pelipper avoids. Just huge. We can't get flinched, so that's good for us. So for a max quake. Can we live? Yes, we live. But is the Demegio gonna be enough? Go for Scold. That pops the balloon. We don't get the burn though. Is a max stone surge enough? It is enough! Woo! Let's go! Helder buffeted by sand. Pelipper! No! Pelipper! I needed you to live! Okay, so my opponent's probably just gonna go for Rockfall. Or, or Rock Slide and then just take us out. But we are going to set up the sun. Which is bad. Well, kinda bad. I guess high, high force power? Cause he can just go rock slide, take out... Wait, Torgo is still slower than Conkelder even with Hellwind! What is this madness? 
<laughs> what is this madness? Okay, Torkoal! Smokey! Let's go, Smokey! Smokey, the slowest boy on the field! Let's go! He could go for Mug Punch and it could potentially take me out, I guess. Uh, he could also avoid the the heat wave and then he just lose. But I, that's, that's just surprising to me that uh, Torkoal is actually slower. Still slower than Conkeldur even at plus two. That's just funny. I don't even have a like a slow nature either. I have a... Um, because for Mach Punch isn't enough. It is not enough. For Heat Wave. But he avoids! No! Uh, 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 uh. Wow! 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 I did call it. I did say, y'all. Like, if he avoids the heat wave, we lose. But wow, that's just sad. We had it in the bag, man. We had it in the bag. And then Torkoal, Smokey misses the heat wave. What a, what a shame. What a shame. And I couldn't change the moves because I'm choice specs, so. Opponent seems to be bringing some kind of trick room team. So that's fine, I guess. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. If my opponent starts, what, Grimmsnarl and Dusclops, that means he's gonna try to go for the uh, Trick Room. Yep, drop Dusclops Grimmsnarl. Not surprised there. If my opponent fakes out the vi the vile plume, so be it. That's kind of what I'm predicting. That he'll he'll uh, fake out vile plume. Well, because he wouldn't fake out the torpor, right? Oh, he goes for reflect. Okay. Well, I go for sleep powder. We connect, so no trick room for you. Drop six to sleep. Fire off. Powerful. Max flare. Go for another one. Now I'm gonna. I forget if there is sleep claws. Um, just in case there is, I'm not gonna like...
Well, let's try it. It's a, it's a learning experience for for all of us. The battle is conceded. What? What? Okay, my opponent concedes the battle. Cool. GG, boy. So we are one and one. We snag a W. Continue battling, yes. Okay, the last battle, um, is gonna, I guess it's gonna be a really short video. Last battle of the day. Versus a, oh, Whimsy God. Woo! Yay. Well, we know what we do against Whimsy We start Pelipper, Grimmsnarl, we bring Dreadmaw for the speed in the back, and then we bring Drawlazon for just good coverage. Uh, my opponent's team's actually really, really hard for me to deal with. Uh, if I can't have the speed advantage. So, we prioritizing getting our speed is gonna be huge. If my opponent, for whatever reason, decides not to bring the Whimsicott, then uh, Pelipper sets up Tailwind turn one, and then we go from there. Uh, we know that my opponent's probably gonna Gigantamax his, uh, his uh, Dragapult. It could be the same that we saw earlier, uh, well not earlier, but in the previous video, where uh, the Vanilla X Ice Sharded the Dragapult and then Dragapult got the weakness policy off and then we tried to do stuff but we, we were just too strong. I think we I think we lost that game to the... To the uh, we, no, no, we won that game and lost the previous game to the, uh, the Gashadon with Storm Drain. Why do people not edit their cards, man? Like, mine isn't like the best, but at least it's edited, you know? Oh, what do you know? What exactly what I was expecting. So, set up Drizzle. Like I said, this my strategy immediately loses to Whimsicott using Protect. If my if Whimsicott just protects, I lose. But I think their slots are taken up so they can't have Protect because they're like, oh, we got pranks, so we're going first no matter what. And I'm like, nope, you're not going first. I'm going first. Which is uh, like, because I think it's what? Tailwind, either Dazzling Gleam or Moonblast. Um, taunt, and then uh, I don't know what the last one is. It, it could be protect for all I for all I know, or it could be uh, uh, energy ball. I guess it, it could have some grass coverage. But yeah, no protect. Okay, well goodbye, Whimsic God. Go win! Goodbye, Pelipper! Oh wait, Pelipper tanks it like a champion. Like a champion. We we get our attack to reduce, but that, that doesn't matter at all to us. Cause then we we just fire off the hurricane. And goodbye. It sends out the Rotom. Interesting, interesting. Well, just in case, we're gonna try to go for Tailwind, and then I'm gonna go for Light Screen. So, we'll be able to get the Special Defense Boost. Honestly, the Rotom's pretty scary because I can't hit it like extremely hard with uh, the Dreadnought. Max Drago Wind against Pelipper again. This is fine. Grim's not attacks goes down. My opponent goes for Willowfist. 
show he goes the trick. Okay. So I have what choice cards now? Not bad. Go for Dread Maw. Fight. We go Max Darkness onto the Dragapult. Oh, cool. I'm not stuck to anything. So now that I have Choice Scar, I'm, I'm okay with just doing this. I don't know if I'm faster than. Uh, I know I'm at minus two attack, but uh, the Spirit. Uh, Spirit Break will reduce Rotom's special attack by by uh, one stage, so we'll be able to uh, resist. Well, not resist, but be able to tank his electric type moves a lot better. So max Darkness. You see Dragapult. Dragapult survives. Not surprised. We reduce the special defense of the Rotom. Go for Max. Drago wins. That's a lot more than I expected, honestly. Oh. Damn. So even with the choice scarf, my, uh... My Grimmsnarl is just too slow. Hmm, okay. So this is looking pretty bad for us, not gonna lie. We know Dragapult thing is done. How do we deal with this? Okay, so what I need to do is I need to go, I guess, Max Darkness onto the Dragapult. Then I need to switch out the Grim Snarl into Drawdon. Because at minus three attack, it's not going to be doing anything, right? Dragapult goes for Protect. He probably will survive. The max darkness. And then power whip. It's fine. That is fine. Get leftovers. And then go on to Grim Snarl. Yeah, I have to, I'll go for this, I guess. Cause we we know that I cannot outspeed the Dragapult. So me just going for the to be draws, that's, that's fine. So then the Rotom. Ooh, he goes for Phantom Force, okay. Okay, go for Spirit Break, it gets avoided. Go for Dark Pulse. We do a decent amount, nothing crazy. Rain stop, so that's good for us because Rotom's not gonna get a power up. Go for Spirit Break on the on the Rotom, and then I go for Dark Pulse onto the Dra Dragapult. Dragapult is gonna do a good amount to the to the Drawlodon. It's nothing I can do, and I think it's gonna come down to Ferrothorn. 
I mean, depends how much damage this does, okay? We, we don't take it very well, and then... Oh, it just goes down. Perfect. I forgot he had life wave. So we don't take it very well. Hydro Pump is resisted by... The, oh, the Grimmsnarl just avoids it like a champion. Then we smack Rotom with a Spirit Break, and down goes Rotom. And then Dark, Dark, Dark Pulse hits nothing. My opponent has Feral Thorn. Uh, Ferrothorn could still win the game. He probably has Protect and like Leech Seed and stuff, so it's not over for my opponent. My is slowly gonna be taken out by the uh, by the uh, Iron Barbs, maybe yeah, Iron Barbs, and then he can Leech Seed. Honestly, what's gonna define if we win the game or not is how much damage the the Dark Pulse actually does. Because if he can stall me out, I'll I'll just lose. Because he has leftovers. Uh, let's see, this does absolutely nothing. His special attack goes down. Iron barbs. I take damage. I get hurt. I go dark pulse. Does not that much, honestly. I take damage. It goes for gyro bowl. Does a lot of damage to Green Snarl. And there you go. So if I can get a flinch, I'll be able to win. But if my opponent uh, has protect, I think he just wins the game because I'll I'll die to the uh, to the life orb to the life orb recoil. Yeah, he has protect. Go protect. I go. I go dark pulse. He recovers a little. Hmm. Yeah. I need I need this to flinch him, and then we have a chance at really. Or a crit would also work. Cause this Oh no, he has a leech seed. Never mind. Cause now he can just protect. And then I think I'll go down to the life orb damage. Wow, what a what a sad way to lose. But it is what it is. If he doesn't protect, I'll try to like, yeah. I think I think just the leech seat takes me out, even without the life orb. game good game so I think this is what th the third battle because the second one was conceded Pharaoh Thorn with leaf seed winning him the game all because I wonder well I didn't I didn't prepare for like I guess uh, for that but with that that well, that is three battles so uh, that's going to be today's episode um, the ID for the team is going to be in the description down below alongside my Twitter. Uh, you can feel free to comment and like. The, the, the comments are back. But with that, uh, I'm going to thank you all, much, all so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.